Hello again everyone, my name is Shark Dog and welcome to another episode of Imperator Rome. In this one we're probably going to finally uh, make Rome into an empire. Uh, but we're also going to try and finish the mission tree we're on, which we've been on for a long time now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, with blessing for 120 months. Yeah, sure. No, strong arm, slightly. Plus some additional cash. Right, so I need to fabricate a coin. No, I don't. I don't need to fabricate a coin. Okay, let's get the legions ready. Oh, Greece needs to... Uh, I probably need to just go and hand out some additional positions here. Make sure the families are decently happy. So I'm going to need to go after Manimia? Manimia at some stage. Next innovation. <laughs> I might go down to get cohorts. Troops causing us problems here. 16402. Yeah, I think Naeus can join the family. Come on, I really need you to catch these troops, please. Let's make sure to take the regional capitals uh, back over here so they're not occupying any of our lands. over 
Right, so I just need these. I don't want to actually cross here at all. And then I need these as well. Okay. So, now the main thing is... I'm going to need to move a bunch of Roman citizens. need to keep moving them north. going to take a while. and be quite expensive to do so. Uh, how close am I to being able to make that decision. We need 90 popularity, we're currently on 76. Scheme popularity. more to go here. I feel this is one of the more tedious aspects of mission trees. You can see why they do it though. Uh, duh, 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 duh. 
We're getting there, slowly but surely. Almost there. <clears throat> Thing is, I might do it for these areas as well, just because it's a bit of an eyesore. Gallic Supremacy. Let's develop it into a metropolitan centre, which allows me to complete the Subduing Gaul tree. And now we can go for Subduing Britannia. Northern fleet. I don't think we need one. But what I can do, however, <clears throat> is make us into an empire. So again, we're going to go maintenance cost reduction, provincial loyalty. War score cost reduction and loyalty of characters. And the Roman Empire is formed with 22,418 pops. And the first act of the Roman Empire is going to be the conquest of Britannia. Experience decay. Uh, some salt. Guess some, some papyrus would also be nice. Right, one of the things that I'm going to do really quickly is administration and go through and allow as much trade here as we can. This all helps deal with a bunch of food shortages, but also 
Uh, gives us a little bit of additional money with so much trade going around. Quite a few conquests I've made where I hadn't actually set it up yet. And the Civil War reset a few areas as well. and Germania Superior. That should deal with the food shortages shortly. I think I'm going to end up putting a bunch more Grand Theatres down for quicker assimilation speed and goal for any cities I have here, which there are a few. I don't have crazy amounts of them, but there are a few around. So I need to go. Where was it? There they are. And then there was just one to go here, so almost done with it. <laughs> Wait, Eight pops. There we go. Much cleaner. Right, our fleet's going to take a bit of time to get all the way around here anyway.
In terms of forts... I think we can probably get rid of a couple here and there. Do -do. <laughs> yeah, we'll welcome some more pops over to uh, our region. Anywhere in this near as many forts. Up in Gaul, because I don't intend to expand any further up in Gaul. You could probably take Helvetia and Rorica. I mean, there's no problem about it. I can definitely take them if I want to. The question is whether I want to or not. Might secure Germania Superior and Vatia. That'll be in a future war, though. A little bit more discipline for the legions. Not that they really need it. Okay, uh, let's put some Grand Theatres down over here. to import some I guess just more grain or something yeah go for some more grain make sure our capital region is always uh, well fed Just let them go fairly independent here. So I really need to prove legitimacy here if possible. Yeah, the scheme prove legitimacy for a bit. Found their fleet. We captured a lot of ships there. <laughs> and they actually have a decently sizable amount of troops uh, for a barbarian state, but we do outnumber them significantly. I 
I do need to take the entirety of Britannia here. some more aggressive expansion reduction. to assault this for ASAP, I think. Yeah. Where's my fleet? All the way over here. Right. I'm going to need to go land in Ireland. Pops already got one of these, 1604. Do 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 do. to go land over in Manapia here as well. Available. One needs to be furs. One needs to be urban wear. Sorted. Legitimacy is higher now at the very least, I suppose. Uh, you're in very poor health. That's the first collapse event I've seen in possibly the entire run, which surprises me. Normally I see it more. I'm certainly not going to be able to take the entire entire chunk of Britannia in one go here, but that's a significant portion of it.
City Farm Great Temple. Uh, okay, yeah, we can found a city here. So I'm probably going to go for Subdue the Coward, do I? Instead of just going Valum Alien. And do a Triumph in Britannia. But I'm going to need to point my legions somewhere else for a little bit, so... I might... So you're allied with Carthage. By attacking you, I can bring Carthage into the war without having to deal with Egypt. That works for me. I think that's going to be our tactic here. However, that will be in the next episode. The Roman Empire is now a thing. We tr transitioned, it, it took a little bit of time, but we did achieve our goals. So we're now up to 50 BCE. I'm not entirely sure how many years exactly are left, because I, don't, I can't remember whether Invictus mod changes the end date or not. But it's not too much longer left in this run. But thank you very much for watching everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one.